So you know those videos where I start asking you guys questions? Well, I'm doing that again. You guys seem to like them, so this video I hope gets a lot of views and a shit ton of comments because I want to see where people are. And that is with the future of Battlefield. Let's just say this is in your hands. I am DICE in this scenario. I am EA in this scenario. And I am asking you individuals, what do you want to see for the next Battlefield game? And as you're writing, please imagine that your comment holds a lot of weight with DICE and EA. Just imagine that you're basically picking what the next Battlefield game will be like. The reason I'm asking you guys this question is because a lot of people disagreed with me in my World War II Battlefield video where I basically said, can you not go to World War II DICE? I don't want to go there anymore. Some people misheard me as saying I just want Battlefield 4.5 with better graphics. But what I was really saying is that Battlefield was evolving, it was building upon itself, and Battlefield 1 is a step backwards. Even if you prefer its gunplay, its graphics, and its time period, objectively, it's a step backwards. It is no longer an evolution, it's more along the lines of Battlefield Hardline. A big reason people didn't like Battlefield Hardline is that it felt like a DLC for Battlefield 4. And the reason it was so jarring is because we didn't want sports cars and semi-trucks and grappling hooks. We wanted the next big thing. Everything with the Battlefield franchise just stepped up its game, like everything. Bad Company blew everyone away, Bad Company 2 did it again, Battlefield 3 was amazing, Battlefield 4 amazing, and then Hardline felt smaller and stranger, it didn't really build, it didn't blow anyone away. And then Battlefield 1 comes out, and to me, it's kind of a similar thing. This isn't blowing me away, this is just a fast-paced Battlefield game with a World War 1 skin. In fact, compared to Battlefield 4, Battlefield 1 kind of feels like Hardline. It's a little bit smaller, it's a whole new theme, it's not bad, it's not inherently evil, and hell, I even can have fun in it, but it's just not what I want. But the Battlefield fans that just recently switched from whatever shooter, whether it's COD or Halo or Destiny, I don't give a fuck, the people that came to Battlefield are loving it. And I love that, I mean, that's how I used to feel. That's how I used to feel, I've said this a thousand times, when I first played Battlefield 3, I was a Battlefield fanboy elitist. Even though I was playing it on the Xbox 360, but that's not important. I felt so much more tactical, skilled, informed, I felt just like a better gamer when I picked up Battlefield 3. It made me laugh at Modern Warfare 3 and Black Ops 2, and yeah. And I didn't even have the DLCs for Battlefield 3, I just played the base game and it gave me hours and hours and hours of playtime. So my bias is I want to see Battlefield evolve more, because before Battlefield 3 I had played uh, 1942 and all the classics and the Bad Company series on my dad's computer, and then I just wanted to see more. And then Battlefield 4 came out when I was finally able to afford it, it blew me away. And when Hardline went on sale, I had fun in it, and in Battlefield 1 I can have fun in it, I can do well in it. I want to see that next step though, I want to see Battlefield just destroy any other shooter because right now I feel like Battlefield 1 is just another shooter and Battlefield shouldn't just be another shooter Battlefield should be fucking amazing so I don't want Battlefield World War 2 not because it wouldn't look cool it wouldn't be fun it wouldn't play well I would totally buy a World War 2 Battlefield game by the way here's where I confuse people I would totally do it but if I was in the room with DICE and EA and they said what do you want I'd say Battlefield 2143 Battlefield Bad Company 3 Give me something that evolves the franchise. Now, I don't just mean going to the future. I don't just mean adding more weapons. I don't just mean, you know, more vehicles. I'm not saying that a World War II game couldn't in some ways evolve the franchise. But I feel like going back to World War II is playing it safe. I've seen M1 Garands. I've seen Thompsons. I've seen Springfields. Show me something new. Show me interesting, show me intricate, show me something that I will never forget. Give me a Battlefield game that impresses beyond its years, that's ahead of its time. One of the things I said about Call of Duty World War II is that it's basically HD COD 2. It's just like COD 2 remastered with the ability to aim down sights and sprint and stab people with bayonets. But it's stuff I've seen before, and I'm a little burnt on World War II. I was when COD World War II came out. Now just like COD World War II, I would fully accept a World War II Battlefield game, I'd give it a try, I'd give it a play, I would probably even have fun with it. 
If DICE took all the feedback they had for Battlefield 1 and implemented what we wanted into a World War II Battlefield game, I wouldn't complain. I want to see the evolution that I witnessed with Bad Company 1 to Bad Company 2, Bad Company 2 to Battlefield 3, Battlefield 3 to Battlefield 4. But that's just me. I want to see that evolution. I feel like Hardline, though fun, was a step backwards. I feel like Battlefield 1, though can be fun, is a step backwards. And that's my personal feelings, but this video, at the end of this little five minute spiel, is about you. What do you want? Battlefield World War II? Tell me why. What do you want from a Battlefield World War II game? What would excite you about that? A Vietnam game? Bad Company 3? Maybe Bad Company 3 is a Vietnam game? Maybe Battlefield 2143, a near future game? Maybe you just want other modern combat Battlefield game. The thing is, if you made a modern shooter, it has potential. There's a difference you have to understand. When you go to the past, you're stuck. When you go to Vietnam, when you go to World War II, you're stuck. But when you talk about modern and future, you have potential. You can create whole new things. You have full creative liberty over modern and future. And I think Battlefield could use that. Interesting maps we've never seen before. Interesting locations we've never played on before factions that we've never seen in Battlefield games before. Hell, how about a Battlefield where America is being invaded and you're fighting through subdivisions and modern day neighborhoods and malls and city blocks. Kind of like Siege of Shanghai, but downtown Manhattan, something along those lines. Hardline dabbled with that, but it never fully embraced it. I feel like if Battlefield, whatever, 2018, whatever it is, embraced that setting that Battlefield Hardline had, but made it more gritty, more realistic, less cartoony. That could be good, and I'm not saying that an old game couldn't have solid game mechanics or be really fun. I'm just saying what I want to see. So let me know what you want to see in the comment section below. As smart as the Battlefield community is, I feel like I have to repeat things constantly and constantly justify and validate my position so that there's no misunderstandings. I'm tired of World War II. I've been tired of it before COD World War II. That is not to say a World War II COD game or Battlefield game would be a bad idea. But if I could pick the setting and premise of the next Battlefield game, it would either be modern day or futuristic. But sometimes on my channel, I need to take my opinion and put it in the back seat and ask you guys what you guys think, because that's more interesting. I would like to know where the gaming community stands and what the gaming community thinks more than just what I think, because I already know what I think. I'm not going to convince you that a Battlefield World War II game would be bad, especially if you already think that'd be the best idea ever. So let me hear your side, give me your opinions, and I'll see when I see. I'll look them over. I might make a video on them, just briefly, and uh, I don't know. See you when I see you. Goodbye.